Welcome back to another edition, another volume. I think this is volume four of Questing with Wine. And we have still yet to do any quests with wine. <laughs> uh, so I, I adjusted the, the audio settings, Sean, so if you're listening, it shouldn't be so, like, you should be able to hear me and not just, like, the lightning going off. Today I'm just going to be running Skyreach. Because well, that's all I'm going to do, and uh, I don't really have a lot of time. Oh, crap, 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 don't go in. Oh, god damn it, I went in. Here we go. We're ready. We're, we're off to a wonderful start. <laughs> I got to exit. And, I mean, it's probably good to go, but I, I always like to get in the group and then reset. Well, I don't, I'm just rambling on you. Shut up, idiot. Okay. So let me just get set up first. All right. I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> I just told myself, that, hey, we got to get set up first. It's like, okay. All right, so, okay, reset. All right. Let, let's get a little Skyrith. We're just going to go in here. I'm going to farm a little XP. A little extra. Put <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Sean? <laughs> That's XP. Got to get some extra pancakes. <laughs> there, here we go. Um, all right, we're going to talk a little bit about... We're going to talk about my set first. What do we got here? Oh, my God. So I'm wearing uh, on jewelry and weapons... Um, I'm wearing, uh, what the hell is it called? Mother Sorrow, so a lot of crit. Uh, training on the weapons. And my weapons, they're gold, by the way. They're both training. I have an Inferno and a Destruct, and a, yeah, an Inferno and a Destruction Staff, you idiot. <laughs> That's like saying I have a pizza and some cheese. Um, anyway, <laughs> I've got an Inferno Staff and I got a Lightning Staff, both in training, but their experience gain, normally it's 9% if it's golded out uh, with the training trait, but now it's 18% because I've got gold! Heartland Conqueror's Robe. Uh, basically, it adds... Uh, who cares? But the fifth piece, it makes the uh, the effectiveness of your weapon traits by 100%. This does not affect ornate or intricate, so but it does affect training. So that's why my staffs are literally giving me 18%, and they're on both bars. And then I golded everything out. I even golded out my, my Grothdar uh, training. They're both training. Grothdar, helm and shoulder, all training, all light. So... Farming Skyrich, compared to what I was doing, like farming Skyrich all the way up until this level, I'm CP491. Uh, now I'm getting effectively one, two, one, two, three. What have I got here? One, two, three. Three plus seven is ten plus nine. So I'm getting 19 more percent just just from the gear. Like, so that's really, really good. And this was actually my buddy Sean. He, or sorry, I picked the beam. I just gave away all of his information. Who cares? Oh my god, we're gonna get. Like that one guy we were talking to online, he didn't want to get, like say his first name, like like we're gonna dox him and like come to his house and like kill his dog or something. Like, dude, like you can say your first name online, all right? It's not like, oh my god, they found out why it worked because they found out my name is Cody. Ah! Losers. Anyway, um, so let's see. So we're 491. That's what I'm wearing. So my damage is gonna be a little bit less, but it doesn't really matter because everything melts in my AOE. Uh, so who cares? All right, we are pretty much set to go. We're going to pop, all right, so right now, well, god damn it, I have, whatever, we're 491. I, I have some some uh, enlightenment left, so it's, I'm going to, whatever, dude, let's just go. And then we're going to talk, so today's, whatever, let me just, god, shut up and go, you fucking idiot. All right, here we go, let's go. Oh my god, I'll do Skyrage, this is so original. Oh my god, it's not like I've been doing Skyrage for fucking years. All right, okay, a little bit of rage here, oh boy. Oh my god, you're offending me. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing today, dude. I'm fucking out of it. Um, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Focus! Oh, my dude. I feel like they're dying even faster than before. Holy shit. That's weird. That's strange. I'll take it. Fuck. Let's go. I'm using a lot of bad words today because I don't give a fuck. Dude, things are dying faster, bro. I don't get it. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm not doing anything differently, really. Whatever. I'll take it. All right. So, let's get on, let's get on the topics here. Although, I know I'm going to get distracted. It's like, oh, my God. They're going to kill me. Um, so today's kind of random, dude. Um, we're just gonna start off completely fucking random. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. See, it's already starting. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. It's been a minute since I've done this, so I've, it's been like a few days, so like, I'm like, I forgot how to fucking do this thing. Alright, so first we're gonna talk about the Republican Party. Oh my god! Yeah, I told you we're gonna go random, dude. Um, the Republican Party. Oh my god, they're the worst people on the planet. They just, they hate the environment. They hate women's rights. Okay. Uh, so, let's, oh my god, Jesus, god, dude, focus, dude, sorry, Sean, I hope this is, I hope this is entertaining for you, 
Or at least more entertaining than asthma gold. Hey, guys! Hey, guys, so, you know, I had to get my teeth pulled, and it's been a very, very uh, hard thing, and I just want to let you guys know that's why I've been away. Oh, buddy, we got you! We support you! We'll always be here for you! Oh, you'll get through this! <laughs> God, ugh, dude, ugh. I tried listening to asthma gold uh, last night at work, dude. Um... And I couldn't even get through the full video. He was talking about WoW and, like, basically how he's, like, trash pulls are stupid. Like, basically he was complaining about everything in the game. Like, like trash pulls are a waste of time. My time is limited. Why do they waste our time with these stupid systems? It, it's, like, dude, it's like, it was like, why do you even play, like, why do you even play video games? Like, you just, like, like you know what I mean? It's just, I was, oh, God, dude. He was literally complaining about trash pulls in WoW, saying they take too much of the raid. I don't, you know, I don't do this to. Oh shoot, dude! Oh crap, 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 crap. Um, he was saying like, basically, he was saying that the trash pulls shouldn't be like. Some trash pulls are okay, but really, like, they they shouldn't be doing these long trash pulls and these raids that take a lot of time already. It's like, dude, like, do you not know what a dungeon and a raid is, dude? They're bosses and like in trash. God damn it! I just died, dude. My first run, I died. So, dude, I'm getting... I don't know what's going on. I think I'm getting distracted. Lol. Yeah, obviously I'm distracted. <laughs> um, so, we ha how do we get from Asmongold to the Republican Party? Let's go back to the Republican Party. So, Donald Trump... Oh, my God. Is he gonna, dude, I'm like... I'm kind of torn on, like, if he should run again. Like, I mean, he's, uh, who cares if I... Whatever I think if he should run again. He's gonna run if he's gonna run. Like, I'm, like, nervous. Like, part of me wants me to tend to run just for the lols. Because it's gonna drive all the liberals out of their mind and, like... The news will be pretty sensational for a long time. It'll be pretty fun. But on the other hand, like, I don't want him to run because if he wins, I don't think that's fucking good at all. Like, it's scary. Like, so uh, I, I kind of want him to run. But only if it's, like, if he's going to lose. Because we don't, we don't need, uh, after all the bullshit that went down after he lost, like, we don't need, uh, we don't need to try that again. All right. Oh, shit. Here we go. Um, now let's talk about, let's talk about Republicans. However, I would vote for, I'm a registered independent, by the way. I've always, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm like fucking up big time, bro. Um, I've always been a registered independent. I've never been a registered Republican or Democrat or, or whatever. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, the only thing I've ever been registered in my life is still Savannah's. But... <laughs> she didn't hear that, so we're good, Sean. Um, God damn it, dude. I'm so distracted right now. Skyreach, while I'm talking, is like... I'm trying to describe it. It's like... It's like running... It's like running at full speed after you just, like, took, like, heroin or something. I'm just, like, out of my mind. I don't even know how to fucking focus, dude. I'm just like... Lightning! This! And I'm like, Republicans! And Democrats! Ugh. Anyway, so speaking of... Uh, but, you know, I do hope that runs for president. Ron DeSantis. I would vote for Ron DeSantis. I think in a heartbeat, dude. Um, uh, particularly over our current president. <laughs> So I'm hoping that he runs. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I like him. I think he's a, a more, he's like more traditional, more like, what's the word? More uh, sensible kind of Republican as opposed to like the kind of extremist kind of stuff that the news has been such a, the reporting on stuff over the past couple of years. Um, so I'll talk about Democrats now. Oh my God. Um, oh boy, Democrats. I don't know what to say. I feel like the left has kind of like gone left, you know, like with the whole, the I don't know, you know, all the it's, it's, the left is like I feel like the left has lost their minds, and like I mean I, one thing about Biden I like is that he's been you know he's been tough on China and he's actually had some good foreign policy stuff. Oh, all oh, the pulling out of Afghanistan that was a disaster and really really tragic. We lost uh, you know a bunch of servicemen and women when we were pulling out because of like the bombing at the airport or something, and then our stupid country and the, and all their genius. God, dude, this pisses me off so much. Uh, we, uh, in retaliation to that, we were like, okay, well, we're going to get the bad guys that did this. And you know what we did? We ended up bombing, a, crap, 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 crap. We ended up bombing a family and killing, like, three children and, like, five adults or something, dude. Like, it's terrible. And, like, so I, what, I was, like, I was, this 4th of July, dude, I was up, up at Lake Tahoe and, uh, you know, a bunch of, re you know, a bunch of morons, America, 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 during the, the fireworks and stuff. And I was like, dude, I don't even like, like, I like my country. I love my country, I guess. But like, after knowing what, what the things that we've done, all the kids that we've killed, like, sorry, it's a little hard for me to be like, yeah, America's the best fucking country when fucking children have been annihilated, dude. And like, and I'm a dad, dude. So like, that shit hits home really hard. Anyway, so how did we get on this topic? Dude, I am fucking up so hard, dude. I don't know what is my problem right now. 
I gotta focus. I probably gotta stop talking. Alright, let's just fucking go, dude. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so, how do we get from Democrats to, to children being murdered in Afghanistan? Anyway, oh yeah, it's because Democrats just buy it. had enough from Biden. I mean, this pro stuff will probably, unfortunately, happen under, you know, Trump and, and Bush and Obama. It's not like, you know, our country accidentally killing kids is, is something exactly new, unfortunately. Um, it's just, you know, caught. Ugh, just, it revolts me, dude. Seeing people, America, America. It's like, dude, like, no. You just, uh, uh, anyway. But yeah, I guess I don't want to talk about politics. Because fuck all this shit, right? Okay, so let's get off this one. Um, is there any liberal that I'd like, that I'd vote for? I mean, I'm sure I would. I mean, I'm not saying, like, I won't vote for a liberal. Because I'm a registered independent. But, like, right now, there's not anybody that's, like, particularly jumping off the page to me. I don't think I'd vote for Biden. Uh, definitely not Gavin Newsom from California. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. Um, here we go. Let's reset. That run was actually somewhat successful, Sean. Uh, let's go to... What's my favorite pizza? I told you we're going random, dude. Extra sauce. Double cheese. Uh, I guess I haven't been eating meat for almost three or four weeks now, so I can't say double pep anymore. So probably like extra sauce. Double cheese. And uh, yeah. That's it. From Tahoe Pizza Company up in South Lake Tahoe. Best pizza place on the planet. Um, all right, let's keep going. All the Little Caesars have really stepped up their game over the years. Speaking of Little Caesars, I used to work at Little Caesars. Story time! I used to work at Little Caesars. God, what a what a disaster. What a, God, what a lost, stupid idiot I was. God, I was lost until I was like 30 years old. God. So if you're listening to this, just just turn it off because you're listening to someone that really didn't start figuring <laughs> figuring things out until they were in their thirties. So uh, don't don't waste your time with this guy. Anyway, um, where were we? Yeah, Little Caesars. Dude, I worked at Little Caesars off and on. I think for like five or six years. I think I quit once or twice, and I went back once or twice. And dude, I was dude. Oh god, this is before I was on medication. So imagine me like. Oh, God. Anyway, what, let's go story time. Let's, see. let's pick one random story. Maybe a story that Sean doesn't know about. I'm trying to think here. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, a story. A story. I guess, I mean, I think you already know about this one. When I went hiking with, uh, but whatever. I went hiking with uh, some hombres from from there. And uh, with Jacob and with Arthur, we went to top of usury. And we were just hanging out. We were just chilling, dude. And, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about work and whatever. And then Jacob goes back to work over the next couple of days and a week or whatever. And he proceeds to say, tell basically everybody everything that I said. And, like, totally, like, just, just fucking, like, dude, I was like, what the fuck, dude? We were hanging out as friends, bro. And, like, you little backstabby little weasel. I mean, he was basically a weasel as far as I was concerned. Like, a lot of people, too. I mean, I think the best thing that he had going for his life was, well, I guess you could say he was a good dad, which is good because he was with his wife and he was with the kids. So there's that. But, I mean, he was a total weasel. Like, God, dude. Oh, dude. Oh. Dude, I still just see his eyes and his, like, his glasses and that look on his face, dude, with that stupid little Caesars hat, dude. Uh, anyway, bro. You know what I might do? Like, when, like when, once I start to get back. Well, I'm already doing lifting again. Like, when I get, like, into a heavy session or something, dude, and, like, I need some final motivation for, like, my final fucking set of rep, dude. I'm just going to, like, put fucking Jacob. I'm going to just put him in my fucking head, dude. And try to fucking push a couple more sets. Ah! I fucking hate you! Fuck kill you! Ah! Because <laughs> I already have between me and you, I guess, and nobody else that's gonna listen to this. I, in my in my phone, I have a like a little list of like gym motivation. So like, like I, but I look at it like when I'm like when I'm like fucking tired and shit. I'm like, oh, I don't think we can keep going. And it's a list of things and people that have pissed me off a lot of my life. And dude, it works too. Cause like I'll be ready to like I'll be like, oh man, I don't know if I keep going. Then I'll fucking look at this person and say, oh yeah, dude, fuck you, fuck you right back. And I'll go knock out my set, dude. And I'll do like an extra rep or two. It's great. Um, so I think I'm going to put Jacob on there. Or I'll just put Weasel. I think that's... I think I'll know who that is. Okay, I'm getting a little... My sky reach is coming a little bit... A little bit better together now. All right. Um, what was I... Where were we at? Um, so there was... That was story time. A little Caesar. Like I so said, we're going to just go all over the place. Let's talk about current events. Should we talk about current events? Let's talk about Taiwan and China and Nancy Pelosi. Oh, my God. So Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan to hang out for, I think, less than a day. A... a Oh my god, I'm actually picking up that accent, John. That was not good. I actually said that uh, the, for like a day. And she pissed off China because, you know, they, they consider Taiwan uh, their, literally their territory still. Despite the fact that they don't have any, 
any any say in what goes on there essentially um and so they pissed her off and so china's doing a bunch of drills and all this bullshit it's always good when when countries are about to go to war it's not good it's not good at all um here we go let's die let's get back out of here let's reset um what do i think would happen dude like in a war with china like well i think i think that our government has i think a lot of you know big militaries around the world have secret weapons and shit like that obviously but like i think that we have really really advanced creepy ass shit i th I, I don't know if we have recovered you know uh craft if you will but i definitely think that we have some really 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 advanced uh weapons and like things to fuck with radar and 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 like i wouldn't be surprised if we have holograms and 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 craft that can do things that people can't even imagine and so like my thought is always like china like part of me thinks that they know better like they, they do a lot of like like growling and a lot of <laughs> chest beating and stuff i don't know if they would actually go to war with the united states that part of me in the back of my head thinks that like they really know that they're just that they would just it would be the worst fucking thing and it would not work out um although they might get overconfident and because they have a lot of nationalism and a lot of masculinity over there rawr, 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 china china i i feel like if 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 push came to shove and and we did get involved with taiwan and and china made the one mistake of killing one american out there on an aircraft carrier or a ship or anything or they try to make the mistake of sending something to the homeland i think it would basically be game over for the ccp and the, and the pla um I think that a lot of these, like, a lot of, like, what Commander Fravor and people, all this, all these weird, like, UFOs and shit that they've been seeing, I believe not so much that it's aliens. I think it's far more likely that, um, I haven't been using my ultimate right here, have I? No, I haven't. Um, that it's our secret craft, our secret black budget shit that's been worked on, Area 51 and underground military stations and shit like this, that, that when it comes out, like, China's not going to know what the fuck hit them. And it's going to take the entire world by surprise. And it's going to be really scary. Um, not for, thankfully, not for us, but for them. Uh, so I hope, you know, obviously that no country ever goes to war. It's sad because children die and parents die and kids die. It's just, that's the worst fucking thing in the world. But, like, I have a feeling that if China, like, decide to fuck with us, like, because if we got involved, they made the mistake of, like, of fucking killing one of our guys, that, that the CCP would... It would, they, they, they would see things that, they, that they've never imagined. And it would be it would be really scary for them anyway. But thankfully we're not on their side. So, but like, I think the Tic Tacs are ours. I think that we have a lot of radar spoofing technology. I think we have a lot of weird systems and shit up in space that can do shit on the ground that, that no one knows about. That just, anyway, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling here. I think some oh, fuck, shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's get out of here. Um, so, yeah, we're talking. We're all over the place. Um, dude, I'm cussing a lot in this video, too. Oh, my God, I'm cussing so much. I'm trying to be a good little boy. Ah. Um, let's drop the ultimate right fucking here. Oh, jeez, I'm stunned. I can't drop the ult. Drop it! Dropping the ulti. Dude, I dropped my fucking ultimate, dude. Didn't drop. What the hell? There we go. Oh, my God. They're all dying, Sean. They're just dying. Ah! Oh, crap. I don't have a heal. Because I'm trusting my crit surge to do all the healing. Lol. <laughs> This is not working out. Maybe I should have a heal. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, my God! Ward. Crit. I need... Okay, there we go. There's all my heals. Ooh, back to full health. All right, let's go. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Um, oh, jeez. I might take a break after... Oh, shoot. Jesus. Um, I might take a break after this, Sean, because guess what, dude? This morning... Well, like, you know, just like a half an hour ago, I was getting set up for Skyreach. And in and, and walks Stephanie. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Um, oh, dude, I'm dead. What the fuck, dude? Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, what a waste of my fucking time. Um, she walked in and she was like, so how much is that house? Dude, she brought it up, bro. And so I think after this run, I just want to hit 500 CP today. Ultimately, that's like my ultimate goal here. Um, but yeah, dude. I think I'm going to get the house. She, she walked in and she was like, yeah, dude. I mean, I was going to get the house anyway. <laughs> but she's, like, supportive of it. So I was like, oh, fuck. This is great. So maybe after this, I'll go get the house and then I'll talk a little bit when I'm in the house. Um, hey, Savannah, so I see. Yeah, so my computer set up. I think I've showed you pictures. Actually, I lay on the, on, the, on the ground now when I play. My PC's up at the desk. 
and I have it to where I can see my Sylvanas shirt and my signed Sylvanas picture, like, it's right above the monitor, so it's cool, so every time I'm playing, I'm always looking into her eyes, and she's looking into mine. Um, my wife didn't hear that, I hope. Lol, lol, lol. She actually gets jealous of the fact that I like a thing that's not even real. Lol. Um, here we go. Die, I'll love you, die. Die, I'll love you, die. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Should we talk about pronouns? Let's talk about pronouns. All right. So here's the thing. So in real life, like, if somebody, like, like, I've never actually ran into someone. Maybe it's because of the nature of my job and stuff and being an adult and the people I hang around. Like, I've never actually ran into someone that told me, like, hey, I identify as this and you need to call me this. Thankfully. Uh, but even if I did, honestly, I think I'd say, okay, like, I don't care. Like, if that makes you comfortable, okay, cool, whatever. I don't care. Um, it's just, like, I still think it's kind of cringe. Um, oh, Jesus. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, and, like, the whole words of violence thing. Like, like, to an extent, I understand what they're saying because bullying, like, can really, really, it, it, it's, it's just one of the worst things, honestly. Kids have, so many kids, and, and even adults have, you know, been driven to suicide because of bullying. And so it's a real serious thing. But there's a difference between, like, bullying and, like, words or violence just by like sharing your opinion like a lot of times like people think that if you don't share their same opinion you're basically like committing violence or like you're like you you have to agree with them or or you're wrong and and you're basically committing violence like i don't know how to describe it. i'm just kind of rambling on here um a lot of it is on online communities again which is why in my real life i've never ran into this stuff uh because the online world is vastly different from the real world like i always like said like the pandemic like, thankfully, I had two jobs. Oh, jeez. All my jobs were, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, were, um, were recession, recession-proof, were uh, pandemic-proof, I guess you could say. They were, there we go. Essential jobs. I had two essential jobs. And so, like, honestly, if I was never on, like, the Internet or, like, um, or, uh, or, like, watching the news or anything like that, I would have no idea that the pandemic ever even happened. Other than, like, okay, like, okay, that's weird. We got to wear masks now. Okay, whatever. Or, like, some stores were closed for a while. Like, other than that, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Not good, not good, not good, not, not good at all. Not good, not good, not really not good. Really not good, really not good, really not good, really not good. Oh, boy, this is not going well. This is not going well. Oh, hold, please, hold, please. Okay, whew, we got through it. Um, yeah, so I would have never even known outside of, you know, masks and stuff. Because, again, that's, like, if you lived, like, in the online space, the pandemic was such a huge and big deal. Obviously, for, for good reason, of course. But, um, like, it just goes to show how different the online world and the real world really is. Like, so, like, you know, the whole the culture wars of, you know, you know like, the, the, the Republicans or conservatives owning the, the libs and the libs owning the conservatives and, and the pronouns and then uh, the abortion and then uh, they vote Donald Trump. Like, like, it's all just like this online fake world, dude. Like, you know what I mean? And, like, I can get along with all these people. Like, that's the crazy thing. It's like, like, I get up, I can get up in my own, like, my own emotions. Like, a oh, pronouns are silly, they're dumb. It's like, really? But then at the same time, like, I know if somebody, like, I met someone, and, like, as long as they were, like, just a normal person, like anybody else, like, they were like, hey, these are my pronouns, just, you know, my name is this, or, like, I'm, you know, I go by this, or whatever. Like, I don't respect it. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm not going to be a dick and go out of my way to, like, you know, be a total jerk. Like, you know what I mean? It's so strange. Like, how, like, you can compare it all. Like, just like I get along with, with a bunch of liberals and I get along with a bunch of Republicans, like even though I don't always agree with both sides. Dude, I guess that's what we're talking about. The online world and the real world are two totally different things. Like, God, it's crazy, dude. And dude, so many people live online though. Like that's weird. Like so many people get up with their feelings, and, like they like get Twitter arguments and and like they like oh my god, speaking of asthma gold and online real world, you got like these weak, weak people, weak Weak men, oh god, I sound like a Republican. These weak boys, like these, I hate to say it, but like beta weak guys that like, like licking asthma and gold, like being nut huggers, dude. Like, like I think that you have something seriously wrong with you. Like, if you're a guy and like this is an inner personality that's gone out of his way that he doesn't give a fucking shit about you or your fucking opinion, other than thanks for the time to get the subs, man. But like, you're like nut hug him and you're like, bro, we support you, we got you. Like, that's something really fucking weird. Those people. They, they have issues. They're spending too much time in the fucking, like, 
the non-real world. And then people blur the lines. They confuse, like, like the real world for the online world. And it's not fucking healthy. Like, that's why, like, you know, a lot of people probably get fucking, get in fights and get shot and get murdered and shit because, like, they get arguments over dumb shit that doesn't fucking matter. It's like people, when, when people take a Twitter argument to real life, like, it's just like fucking, I don't think, I'm, just, I'm telling you, man, I'm all over the fucking place today. Lol, 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 lol. Alright, let's see if I can do this without fucking dying. Um, bam, 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 bam. Ouch! Oh, great, I just used my fucking potion. I didn't even need to use my fucking potion. Um, oh, I changed my, my outfit on my character for right now, anyway. So he looks like some weird, like, goofy pirate. It's pretty cool. You'd probably dig it, Sean, because it's goofy. Lol. <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. Ah! Nice. How many CP have I gained? Uh, four. It's not too bad. Mm -mm -mm. I, if I wasn't talking, I'd be getting a lot more CP because I'd be focused. Um, let's see here. What else are we can talk about? We're not even half an hour in, and we're going to go more than an hour. Something that, what was something that Sean would like to hear talked about? Uh, I don't even know. Sean, give me an idea. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, well, I guess we can talk about ESO right now, huh? The, the patch notes. So the, the final patch notes came out. And they are, the, uh, dude, it's like, oh my god, Zoss, like, they do, they say one thing, like, these are our goals, and then they implement changes that contra, that, that, that who's, the, which changes, the, which the outcome contradicts their stated goals. Like, it's like, what are you guys doing? Uh, dude, and like, they, they don't take any criticism on their, on their forms, they'll block you, they'll edit everything, it'll say snip, snip, edited for baiting, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's like they are so, dude, they are internet people. They are so sensitive. They can't handle any criticism. And it's just like, oh, my God. And they just make their game dumber and dumber. Hybridization. Making all the classes the same. Lack of class identity. Oh, my God. Ugh. Lack of class identity. And, and anyway, so these patch notes they went through. Thankfully, my, my, my Max Orc, uh, they're buffing Daedric Prey. Although, honestly, with all the nerfs and changes they've made, I don't even know if it's... If it's really a buff compared to live, or if like, if if even on live it's gonna be a nerf compared to what it is on the PTS, I don't even fucking know. But they're buffing Daedric Prey, so it's gonna right now. What it does is all my pets, uh, as long as it's active, they gain um, twenty percent, uh, twenty percent more damage. They're changing it though for when it goes live to forty-five percent more damage, which is great. But then you think back. It wasn't except a couple patches ago that it used to be fucking 45%. So it's just going back to what it was. So it's like this Zoss doing their circles. And like Gilliam the Rogue, I think, was one of the worst things that ever happened to like like Elder Scrolls Online. Like I used to love Gilliam, dude. I used to like nog on his videos and like listen to all of his breakdown and theory crafting and stuff. I loved it. But like the guy's so far, like when you like, read his, like whenever he posts patch notes, he's so far up his own butt, dude. He like tries to sound like a super smart. He's, like, he's more more interested, I think, like in sounding smart than he is in like communicating like his his concepts and his ideas. And like the guy is like a spreadsheet nerd. Like he's like he's he's a dummy humper. Like he doesn't actually think about like he has all these great ideas. That's great. That's good. Congratulations. It's great to have great ideas, bro. But like he doesn't actually think through what's it gonna look like in the real game he just thinks about what's it going to look like on the dummy because i'm a parser or what what's the math going to especially is it going to be fun what's it going to look like are these changes going to make the 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 ceiling lower and and the uh, the floor higher no or is it going to make or is it going to just fuck everything up you know because now now dude, I can't, i'm not even fucking going to they're fucking light oh my god dude the heavy the restoration light fucking heavy attacks are going to be almost a meta thing now and then the medium attack weaving it's like Bro, like they, 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 their stated goals with this update were to make basically like hard shit more accessible to players that aren't fucking good or don't want to put in the time or that just don't want to, you know, whatever the fuck. And so, what did they do? They, they, they took out light attack nerfing and they made the new meta probably going to be medium attack, which is fucking harder to do than fucking light attack weaving. Like, congratulations. What a genius idea. Like, I just, there's other shit too, man. It's just like, and they, oh, dude, it's like, I don't even know what happens at Zoss, dude. They're, oh, dude, it's like, bro, what are you thinking? Like, you guys have such a gem of a game, and you guys are more interested in releasing stupid card games and, and making combat boring as fuck and dumb as shit uh, instead of, like, you know, making, the, like, making this game fucking good, dude. Like, making this game what it could be, the real potential of ESO, man. 
but no, they just want to make it into this like noob noob friendly, uh, hybridized, uh, lack of class identity, boring fucking. Dude, I'm dude, I'm going hard today. This is not good. Uh, this video is probably gonna go up because fuck it. But damn, dude, if you listen to my first video on the channel where I was like all super like, oh welcome to the channel. We're gonna do questing with wine and like. Four weeks in, I'm like, fuck everyone. Fuck everything. I fucking hate everyone. <laughs> Good times. Uh, I gotta repair something here. Repair. Um, repair. All right, we're good. Just the one thing. Sweet. I got one more pool in me. Mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah, dude. So, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna keep playing, obviously. But, like, I'm just hoping that, like, th that the combat and the game can get better. And that they don't make more drastic changes. Like, hybridization is really dumb as shit. Like, great. So, Hunting's Rage gives me 300 uh, weapon damage and spell damage now. What the fuck? Like, that was what was cool about ESO's combat, man. It's like sets. There were, like, Magicka sets. There were Magicka stats. There were stamp sets. And mat and, and stamp, stamp, stamp everything. Now it's like everything can do everything. And it's, dude, and, like, I remember back in the day when Dragonites were the fucking tanks. Templars were the fucking healers. Uh, uh, Nightblades were fucking massive DPS orcs. I don't even fucking remember. Now it's, like, the Templars are everything. The Nightblades are everything. The DKs are everything. Every class can do every same thing. The numbers are all the same across the board. The only difference is the animation. Sometimes it's not even different. Drop the ultimate, you idiot. Um, so, it's just, like, dude, whatever. I really, I have, I just hope that this game gets better and they continue to, like, add really cool things to it. Um, I'd like to see a new class or maybe a couple new races even or maybe some new weapons. Adjust the, you know, maybe uh, maybe give Undaunted an ultimate, you know, let's fuck, fuck with shit a little bit, change it up. But instead, we're, what we're going to probably get, we're going to get more card game iterations, more stupid companions, and more dumbing down of the game. Oh, you want to be a... Magic a sorcerer? Guess what? That's not even a thing anymore. Now you're just a sorcerer because the the you know for the new players it was just too confusing to have to say oh there's there's stamina and magic no now there's just this there's that like there's this meme maybe Sean I've showed you where it's like of SpongeBob and it's like uh, Zoss and like in 2025 um, uh, doing damage in this game requires pressing buttons uh, and new players are having a hard time so the so to do damage you will no longer have to press buttons it's just like. It's, you know what I mean? It's so silly. It's just, it's just too bad, man. I don't know. Ugh, whatever. All right, how many CP did I get there? I don't know, a couple. I don't even fucking know. 496. What I start at? 492? 491? That's not really good. I, I fucked off a lot. I wasn't doing as well as I could. Um, this is what it is. Um, let's go look at the fucking house. Should we do that, dude? Yeah, we're going to talk when we get the house, bro. Ta da 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 da. I gotta repair and shit. How about let's go reset Gratwood. Talk to my wife about spending some money. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go to Gratwood. I'll hit 500 no matter what anyway. I haven't even done my daily random or my daily battleground. My random's not available yet. And so with those two, I'll hit... I'll hit oh shit, I have 60, oh, that's like 60 seconds left on my Amber, so that's nothing. Um, I'll hit 500. And that was really just my goal for today was hit 500, which total would be like 13 CP, which isn't too bad. I mean, today I wasn't planning on going super, super hard anyway. That's probably going to be Friday. Um, and a little bit tomorrow, too. Uh, so what, let's see what's, what's... Let's repair. Um, well, somebody healed me. Thank you. Um, so what's my goal by the end of Friday, dude? It's like CP-wise. Mm, dude, because I'll be 500 today. So Wednesday I'll, I'll grind a little bit. Thursday I'll grind a little bit. Friday I'm going to go hard as fuck. Um, fuck, should I, should I fucking say it? I'll make my goal fucking 600 CP, bro. My goal will be to get 100 CP between Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. How about that? Fuck yeah, let's try it, dude. All right, let me sell out. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? Oh, my, I'm basically, comp I'm, I would say, so it's been what, one, two, three, it's been three weeks. Three weeks, and so what's so, 19, 20, 21. It's been like 21 days. Basically, almost... No, fucking 21 days, you idiot. No. It's been like 24 days. 24 days since I hurt my back. And I... As of... I feel like today, I'm 100% healed. Still a little stiff sometimes when I get up. But I was, I've always... Hang <laughs> stiff. I've, I was always... Even, even before I hurt my back. Because I've hurt my back so many times throughout the years. 
if I sit down in a chair for too long, getting up, my back is always really stiff. Not like normal, like, 30-year-old stiff, but, like, like you fucked your back up in the past kind of stiff. And it's still like that. But I'm basically 100% healed. I'm fucking ready. So tomorrow, I'm actually going to go back and try to do squats again. Not like I'm not going to fucking put heavy weights on there right away. I'm going to ease myself in. And I'm, I'm not going to do what I was doing beforehand. So let's not, you know, let's not pull a wife on me. But it's nice, dude. I'm pretty much 100% healed. Uh, I won't be starting my new job probably until uh, never, I think, at this point. <laughs> Honestly, so it's ridiculous. So I, I basically interviewed or had a meeting for this job in, like, the third week of, of May. My supervisor didn't, didn't do anything about it until basically uh, the end of June. And, uh, and here we are. Now it's uh, almost mid-August, and uh, I'm still not in that job. <laughs> it's, oh, boy, good times. Um, I, let me talk, let me do something here. Um, all right, well, I don't want this all to be on the, eh, yeah, whatever, who gives a fuck, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're doing it, bro. So right now, I'm buying my first house in the Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, my God. Oh, I think she heard that shit. Um. Cards, hold on, dude. Um. Uh, and uh, obviously this is probably I mean legitimately this is probably so I mean I've made tons of accounts because I have like this bipolar issue and OCD and always I have to always start new I'm kind of retarded um, I mean I do take an antipsychotic lol um, but this is probably my fourth major account I've ever made on back on Xbox back in the day uh, my main account was I mean I was max out on CP like that was back in the day before the CP 2.0 when when they basically every every update every patch they would add 30 new CP and I was I was capped out it was like 810 or 840 or 8 whatever and they did CP 2.0 and then I quit playing for a couple of years because of whatever and then I came back and I made a warden I swear to god I think I got him up to like 600 CP and then for some reason that went away and then, then you were playing with me at that time too, Sean. And then we started new accounts like a year, probably two years ago, I think, actually. And we did Blood Root for not Blood Root Forge. We did a Black Rose Prison. My buddy got up to like 600 CP or something. I think I got up to like eight or 900 CP. And we stopped doing that for some fucking reason. And then here we are again. We're doing it again. But this one I think we're actually going to fucking stick with because I'm in a much better spot. We have real fucking goals. Like him and I are in a better place as friends too. Like everything's fucking better. And you know what? We're restarting, but who gives a fuck? We're gonna we're gonna have more fun than we fucking ever did. Um, and I feel like we already are in some instances, anyway. Uh, when your internet's working, um, and you can fucking bar swap. Uh, um, so yeah, so this is gonna be. So speaking of, so this is my fourth major account. Uh, I probably got on this game. Mm, I think on my Xbox account, I had like six, six, seven thousand hours. So I probably have around ten thousand hours total play time. What's up, baby? What's up, toots? Um, there we go, bro. Let's go to let's go to the house first. Let's see what the furnished version looks like. I, I got the crowns, bro. I have nineteen thousand five hundred crowns, and we still got fourteen thousand crowns in escrow that I'm gonna get in about another week and a half or two weeks to sell some shit, make some gold. Lol. Um. Mm. Fuck yeah, let's look at the purchase options. I have to hit five. All right, so, okay, unfurnished is 14. Furnished is 17.5. Let's, let's go, let's, okay, we're outside. Let's, let's do an unfurnished look outside real quick. Mm -mm -mm. I know you're not watching right now. You're probably listening at work. So, it's nice, it's outside. I don't like the, the fact that the front yard isn't that big. I don't like that. I wish there was more land in the front yard. That kind of irritated. I feel like, like I walk through the gate, and like I'm squished already, like right to the fucking front door. So let's look at the, let's look at, uh, oh shit. Um, let's look at furnished preview. Any difference? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a little different. Some lights and some trees and shit. That's pretty cool. Let's go inside. All right, looks pretty good. Let's, let me look at the map. Yeah, let's go inside. We're going to look around while it's furnished first. Oh yeah, it looks nice. I like, I mean, I am a Khajiit anyway, and I think... She's a Khajiit too, and what are you? You're a, you're a wood elf. Is this another room? No, it's not another room. Okay, so let's take a look. Let me put on my, my speed boost. So I knew we'd get to some good content here, not just me talking about bullshit. 
Um, what are the Republicans, Democrats, and pizza? That's the courtyard. Okay, now let's look at it unfurnished. Where's the five button? Unfurnished preview. Okay, so they're basically fucking empty. I actually kind of like it more unfurnished. I think because then we could fuck with it and do shit. I mean, let's look at let's look let's look at this. This is pretty cool. This whole courtyard room thing here. Let's look at that. That's um five. Let's look at furnished up in here, dude. Oh shit, it is pretty nice though. Mm. Mm, nah, we'll buy it unfurnished. But what we're really getting is let's fuck. Let's just buy it. Dude. Shit, I did another potion. Unfurnished. Done, bro. It's our house now, dude. I'm going to first give you guys permissions. I will give you permission to enter my home. But I'll show everybody here that's listening. Well, nobody's listening, of course. Maybe my son in like 60 years or something. Select one. What? Lo load visitors list and ban list from. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um, lighting. Okay, what the fuck? Did I? What the fuck? Oh my god, did I? I didn't, what the fuck? Did I buy it with... No, I didn't. Okay, good. Okay, I was scared. I thought I fucking bought a furnished dude. Um, let's do the permissions first. How do I do this? I got it. Housing is five, right? Okay. Let's go to permissions. Um, browse. Settings. Primary residence. Yes. Default visitor access. Let's see here. Control the level of access for everyone not on a visitor or ban list. What the fuck? Um, visitors, here we go. I can make visitors at a player. Um, you guys will be decorators, so you guys have full access to everything. Um, uh, at Pixie. Hopefully it pulls up right away. Yeah, perfect. So, all right, so you immediately have full access. I will also add uh, decorator at... So, bam, both of you guys have full uh, full ability to fuck with whatever you want. But I'm going to show everybody why I actually bought this fucking house. So, houses are cool and shit, and we're going to put a lot of shit in here, don't get me wrong. But the only reason I really gave a fuck about this house was because of the upstairs portal. Because I am a dummy humper, as much shit as I talked about Gillian. Well, because I just think he's... I, I don't know what's up with Gillian. I used to love the guy in this old YouTube channel and stuff. But I, I am a dummy humper uh, at heart. Oh, dude, and I love the fucking music. Dude, I just look... I'm take, oh, my God. Dude, I'm such a nerd. Oh, my God. Like, just the colors up here and the music up here. Like, the vibe is fucking awesome. And I'm 100 fucking percent going to put my all my dummies and shit out in this area. Uh, and I, I just can't wait. Probably once I head around six to 800 CP, I'm going to actually start fucking parsing for my end game trials and shit. And I'm gonna do everything right, right here. Um, this will be my, my parsing area. Probably gonna be facing this way, honestly. I'm so fucking excited, dude. Holy shit. Um, let's see, let's look at the housing editor. Do I have anything already? Probably not. Little place. Uh, oh, dude, I can put my, uh, my, my, my craft dude. That's pretty cool. Uh, storage, gallery. Oh, I got all my, I got, uh, oh, that painting that I got from the quest or something. All my trophies. Oh, I've only done one dungeon on Vet yet so far. <laughs> I've done 23 on normal. I've done one on Vet for Grothar. That makes sense. I got. Oh, I can put my white mounts here, dude. All my pets, bro. Let's put a pet here. This one's pretty interesting. Let's put this guy here. Just for now. You go right there. How about that? Let's grab a... Mm, let's put Neo out here. Yeah, let's grab Neo. There we go. Neo can hang out with the pet right there. And let's put one of my mounts just for fun. Just for shits, huh? Put this one right there. Fuck yeah. All right, dude. So if you look, which you're probably not, I understand your word. Like, there we go, dude. I got, I got some shit set. I'm going to... Fuck yeah, dude. We got the house, bro. It's set. I fucking love this upper area, dude. This is why I got this house. Fuck the house. I just want this. I would have paid fucking 10,000 crowns just for this. <laughs> this is so cool. And that looks dope as fuck. Like, I don't even know what the... Oh, shit. No, no. God damn it. Idiot. <laughs> Dead. Um, The front of the house. What the fuck? Let's go. Why don't we leave the house and let's see what it's like from the outside? I, I don't even do that. It's in northern elsewhere. Oh my god. Let's do this. Um, 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's let's get out a little bit. What the fuck is that? Taj Mahal. Let's go kick that thing's ass. Let's have some fun. Oh shit. Bam. Bam, baby. Bam, baby. Bam, baby. And I'm not even wearing second DPS set. Mike Rothar didn't go off, I don't think. Oh my god, Mike Rothar didn't go off, bro. Hey, that guy just came out of my house. Fuck you. Anyway, lol. I know, it's an instant to this house, too. Um, that was kind of weird, though. I just bought this house, and somebody just came out of the front door. It's kind of creepy. Dude, the house actually looks dope as shit. The house looks cooler than it's actually is cool inside. <laughs> um, all right, let's go um, Let's go to Ratwood, my man. Um, we're going to go to Ratwood. And we're gonna, I think you can buy dumpy some gold. We've got a bunch of gold, so let's see if I can do that as opposed to... Spending crowns. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know. I'm in a weird mood. I don't know why. I didn't even have an energy drink. I don't know. It's because I've been up for a while. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking fast, too. I feel like a bench girl. Hey. Over the lips. I like bench girl. Kind of. I don't know. I used to like like listen to him a lot. Now I, I can't really listen to him very much anymore. Like, I don't know what, what what's happened. Like But I can't stand the guy too much anymore. Sometimes he's funny, though. His uh his TikTok own the own the libs on TikTok or whatever, is pretty funny because he gets like all these you know, mostly young people that are you know, uh, whatever they you know the non-binary the this the that and but they're like really uh, dramatic and like excessive and he just it's just funny because he makes fun of them. <laughs> uh, where were we at? Uh, dummies, right? Dummy. Is that what it's called, dummy? Probably not wool. Oh, let's go to housing items there. Let's do that. Let's exit there. Let's go to furnishings. Target dummy. Yeah, there we go. The fuck? The, what? The target dummies at this one? Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. Oh, dude, I had a lot of fun when I first logged in. Oh, sweet. 500,000 fucking gold. Um, when I logged in, dude, uh, I was, I, I did my, I did a, one pledge because fuck Dark Shade Caverns too. Um, and uh, my guild Back to back, one person was like, "Hey, can you, anybody help me with this world boss?" And I went and helped someone, and like, like one of the one of their guildies showed up. It was cool, and then like, a, like I fucking got out of that group. We killed that world boss, and like a few minutes later, somebody else asked, and I went and we killed the world boss, but we had to do it like at a certain speed, kill it really fast to get this achievement. And so like it was only three of us, so I was like, "Fuck it, let me start asking around." Pass me crown. I like zone chat. I got like fucking five people from zone chat. People from the guild, some other guy from a, like a different guild entirely, and we had like eight people in a group or nine people in a group, and we fucked that world boss up, and we got the achievement. It was so cool. One point five million. Jesus Christ. Well, this is for a big one. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I'll send. You, I'll put the screenshot on fucking Twitter, dude. Like that shit. It was really cool. I got a good screenshot of all of us like hanging out before the world boss. It was fucking fun, dude. That was. That's what I fucking love. I do. I just love this game, dude. It's like. It's like you just, I get on one random fucking Thursday morning, what is it, Thursday, Tuesday, you idiot. Uh, one random Tuesday morning and, and like back to back, kill these are looking for, hey, help me kill this real boss and we get a fucking group of nine people to go fuck shit up, dude, you know what I mean? That's fucking cool. And it doesn't matter, dude, like you can be in a fucking, like that's the cool thing about like fucking, about the internet, dude, like, like there's a lot of terrible things about the internet, yes. There's a lot of really fucking cool things is that you get people from all over the world, all different types of people, people you would never fucking meet in your own real life. People that, you know, you get hardcore uh, conservatives and, well, oh, fucking, uh, no abortion. And then you get all these liberals, uh, the they, them pronouns and shit. And, like, we all, doesn't fucking matter, dude. We just fucking group up and we fucking kill shit and we have fun. And we're all friends and we're all having a good fucking time. And all that stupid bullshit goes out of the way. Like, that's what's fucking cool, dude. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling on here. Um, I'm getting all sentimental here. Uh, okay, oh, shit. Here we, oh, fuck yeah, dude. Here we go, dude. In Morrowind. Here we go. Really cheap well, compared to what I found before. I get a three million dummy for one hundred thirty-five thousand gold. I can get a big one. That's ah, still one point five. That's really fucking big. Um, fabricating. What the fuck is that? Um, this is cool shit, dude. Damn. Um, let's keep looking though. So we we know more ones that we can afford until whatever. We can get a really cheap one. A dummy for gold, so at least have a dummy there. So you can tell uh, so and so that we got a fucking house and we got a dummy now. So they'll be happy. And I'm gonna be fucking happy too. Like, so I'm not gonna start parsing here for a little bit still because I want to get more CP, but 
waiting for results. Oh my god. I hope I didn't come across as an asshole in this video. You tell me, like, later on when we talked, if I did. Like, I don't want to come across as, like, oh, people and pronouns and they, them and all this crap, non-binary, it's all a bunch of morons. Like, I think I think it's goofy. Like, and I, I think it's actually, I think it's kind of dumb. But like I said, like, if I ever met somebody in real life and they talk to me about it, like, I'd be totally respectful. I have no problem. It's just, like, from afar, from a distance, like, okay, what are you guys doing? Like, what is this, like... Why are we getting too soft? But at the same time, I'm not like a hardcore, like, no abortion, uh, Donald Trump forever, uh, uh, F, fuck Joe Biden, you know, like, like, dude, I see, like, people, like, at my work, they drive around in vehicles that are, like, and they have, like, the F, J, B, or whatever, like, thing on their, on their back of their vehicles, and I'm like, dude, you look like you're 14, like, seriously, like, okay, we get it, bro, like, you look, if you think the libs are silly, like, you look just... Yeah, it's it's another level of dumb. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, so I hope I don't come across as like super hateful to any any group. Like, I don't hate any group. Like, I fucking love everybody, and I want the best for everybody. But at the same time, it's like we got to be able to point out like people's bullshit too. You know what I mean? Like, that's part of like just like being a good human or like a uh, uh, what's the word? Just a just a, an observant person or like a smart person. I don't know, smart. Oh, God, here we go. I'm so smart. No, I don't mean it like that. Just like you know, like a balanced person. Like, be able to see like even your own bullshit. Like. Like, I know, like, I'm impulsive. Uh, I say and do a lot of dumb things. I make a lot of dumb mistakes. I mean, I have, I'm on medication, after all. But, like, you know, I can still make fun of myself. I'm not, like, so serious where it's like, oh, well, I'm a very important man, and I'm a father and a husband, and and I've a, I have a career, and... No, dude, it's like, dude, go fuck yourself. You have a Star Wars tattoo, you idiot. Like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, lol, you're spending your free time here playing a fucking MMORPG. Uh, and your character literally has a fucking tail, so shut up. I don't know, whatever, dude. I don't know. I feel like I'm a rainbow, bro. Like an angry rainbow. If that makes any sense. All right, here we go. I'm finding more prizes. So, like, so here's the deal. So for all the cheap, the cheap ones, like three millions, they're all about like 100, like 160k, 130k, and then the big ones uh, that are like uh, have like fucking, I think I don't know, 20 million health or something. Uh, they have, they're like 1.5 million gold. Now, these aren't the ones, the trial dummies, where, like, the ones where you buy in the crown store, where they're, like, they have all the debuffs, and, and all, and they give you shards and shit, like, that's what, like, the trials, they want, like, they want your parse on that. Uh, whereas back, back in our day, dude, like, we were parsing on these 3 million dummies, the 6 million dummies, that, and then we would record the videos or tell people our parses and, like, shit like that. Nowadays, it's, like, the fucking trial dummy, where it's, like, it's, like... <laughs> The numbers are so outrageous and so ridiculous and so overtuned. It's like, it's it's not even representative of what most trial guilds are gonna have. It's 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 really just kind of silly. I understand why they do it because it shows your, it, it it's DPS that is what's the word streamlined. So it, like whereas like for example, let's take like if I parse on a three million dummy with my mag sword, and then let's say that um, mm, I'm trying to think here. Um, that uh i think what is it dk i think they have access to it i don't know but like another class that has access so like max work does not have access to here we go perfect max work does not have access to uh major fracture or major breach uh wardens do in their kit and so back in the day like if like when we would parse on six million to three million dummies dude like not every class was equivalent and so like one class would would have certain buffs the other class would have certain buffs it would just basically be your kit or whatever you could pull from like the guild skills or the weapon skills um and so it wasn't always even um it wasn't like so like my max work if i didn't chose if i chose not to run what's the skill um on my destruction staff which i always used to do with my parses because I, I was a max work for a while too back in the day when this at this time elemental drain if i didn't run elemental drain i would not get major breach um so I can still get it, but like the point is, is that parsing on the, uh, dude, I ramble on like a fucking idiot. I'm the worst at taking a sentence or like an idea and explaining it. Like I can't get it out in a sense. I get out in like a fucking, a fucking page of bullshit. It's like Jesus Christ. Anyway, so the point is the trial dummy, everyone is even. So I could take a Khajiit mag sword. I could take a, a, a fucking Argonian stam dragon knight and they will walk in and they will parse. They will be completely equivalent Everything that they do, except for you, what is on your fucking character, your sets, your Mundus Stone, your fucking traits, 
your attribute distribution, your passives. So that's that's why people like the trial type. I don't still think it's dumb because it bloats everything the fuck up and makes big ass numbers, whatever. And, it, and it's also kind of unreasonable because it gives you so much sustain that you might not even get in your trial group, especially if you're not like pushing like like hard modes and shit. Like like you're not always gonna get like all these crazy buffs and sustain and shit. Anyway, it's kind of goofy. All right, we're running around. We went to Deshaun. <laughs> We're at with Deshaun. Let's go to uh, Lacqua in uh, Reaper's March. We're going to check there. And then if not, then we're going to go back tomorrow and just buy the shit, put it in the house. We'll fuck around. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're looking for dummies. Oh, dude, with the gold that you have, too. Now you guys can start, like, uh, when you're free time, like, when you're not, you know, questing or sky shards or fucking delves or dungeons and, and everything that we're going to be doing in the game. Fuck yeah, here we go. This is cheap as fuck. 135, but I'll get it from Morrowind, I think. I'd rather buy it from Morrowind. Um, you know what? We'll check uh, Bleak Rock, too. That's cheap as fuck. Yeah, 130k is, like, the lowest you can find for, like, 3 millions. Uh, point is, is that we have all the gold that we have, dude, and the gold that we're still going to get, bro. You can just go run around, find furnishings and shit, and just put them in the fucking house. Have fun. Although, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if you buy a furnishing that you can put it in. I think what it is, is so if you buy here, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it, dude. We can test it, but I'm, like, 99.9 fucking .9 percent sure. Anytime that you run around and you see something cool for a fucking house, buy that shit and send it to me in the mail or trade it to me. Send it to me in the mail if we're not on at the same time. If we're on, trade it to me. And then I'll put that shit somewhere randomly in the house. Like, we'll maybe, like, we'll have, like, an area, like one of the rooms we'll choose in the house. Like, this is the, the dump room. You buy shit, you send it to me, or I, or I buy shit, and we just dump it in one room. And then that we both go to that room and we both know, okay, this is all the shit. Like, this is everything. Let's just take, we'll take from here and put it wherever the fuck we want in the house. You know what I mean? So that's what we'll do. We'll find a dump room. But yeah, just send your shit to me whenever you buy it. Fuck it, I'm just going to go to Mormon and buy the shit. Uh, go to Vivek. Vivek City. So there we go. That, that's the fucking idea, dude. And I'll show you the... Well, I'll show you the video. I'll show you the room, but I know you're not watching. Maybe if you go home tonight, you can put the shit on uh, and just fast forward. And I'll show you the room. Or well, maybe you'll be on tonight with me. I don't fucking not going to be on tonight because I'm going to go to sleep at 3 or 4. Wake up at fucking in the middle of the night to go to the gym. Oh, lol. Um, here we go. Perfect. I want the humanoid. Bam, 130k. I also want a 6 million for 270. Dude, cheap as fuck, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Should I. Is my phone ringing? Lol. Bro, are you texting me? Oh, you haven't responded to my text. Lol. <laughs> Wait till you see those. Should I buy one of these, too? Do one of the big ones? Fuck it, let's do it. 1.5 million gold gone. I'm down to 1.5 million gold. <laughs> But I think between the two of you, though, we should still have, I think I gave you 15, I gave, I gave three to them, you gave me, like, three last night, so I think between all of us, we still have, like, 16, which is great. Um, and remember, I bought potions for both them and for me, uh, weapon power pots and spell power pots, I bought more, I bought, like, 2,200 of them. That's gonna last literally a year or two, like, like, cause I'm not gonna be parsing with those until I get my fucking rotation down completely, and then I'll do a bunch of parses with those, so like, like, dude, we're fucking set, like, so the point is, I went through, like, 16 million gold, but, like, a lot of that shit's, like, still in the cooker, um, so let's go to the house, oh my god, I'm gonna go to the house, I wanna go to the house from a way shrine, though, let's do that, here we go, way shrine, northern house, star haven, way shrine, that's what it's called, dude, let's go, am I still recording, oh, it'd be funny if I wasn't recording the entire fucking time, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Let's go check this shit out, dude. I'm going to take off my UI for a little immersive RP. Now I can't see where the house is, though. Um, okay, it's over there. Let's go. La, la, la. Elsewhere is dope as fuck. I can't wait to check out Hyo so I can, like, contrast it compared to... Because Morrowind is fucking dope as shit. Elsewhere is dope as shit. Um, Somerset is dope as shit. We, 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 you and I, we both need to go through Greymoor, uh, Blackwood, and High Elf. We need to compare those three. Although, I, I, I think they all got shittier, honestly. Fuck, where's the house? Oh, shit. Um, okay, to the right. Oh, there's a waste shrine literally right next to the house, dude. Literally right next. Well, there's, dope, that's dope as fuck, dude. You gotta look. If you get a minute, like, I'll here, I'll wait just for a second. If you get a minute, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Pull out your YouTube, pop that shit open real quick. All right, so if you're looking, look, dude, this is from a distance. There's our house, dude, in the fucking background. Isn't that fucking dope as shit, dude? If you pull the shit up on your TV, dude. Fuck, dude. 
That's so cool. Ah! See, there's a way shrine literally right next to the house. I gotta unlock it a little. There we go. Let's go put some shit in this house. Um, ah! Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm glad we got this. We're starting to build our little fort, our little base of operations. Oh, bro, I got to get my alchemy to 52. But I think I've done Skyreach so much, I collect all the bugs and, and, the, and the weird shit in there that I should be able to boost my alchemy to 50 uh, with little effort here whenever I choose to do it, actually. All right, let's go. Now we are in the house. I still have 5,500 crowns, bro. What should I buy, bro? Should I buy something? What's the shit here? Let's look at this stuff here real quick. Like, I got distracted already. I'm already looking at bullshit. Yeah, it's just a bunch of fucking trees and bullshit. And that's cool, I guess. Active. Unblessed. Yeah. I'll probably just open some fucking crates. Let's have some fun after this, huh? Go for uh, uh, one of the rare ones. Alright, here we go. Cool. Let's move all this bullshit here. I did it again. I hit a fucking potion. You. Get the fuck out of my way. You. Get the fuck out of my way. I clicked on you, didn't I? No. Apparently not, you idiot. I gotta move Neo. Neo's going over here for now. Stupid bird. I don't like you, actually. Just get the fuck away from me. Put you away. Alright, let's do this shit. Um, I think I have to check the mail first, dude. Well, let's see. I services. No, dude. I gotta. Fucking kidding me. Can I check my mail in here? Yeah, I can. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So now we should be able to place these, dude. Here we go. So this is my idea. So if you got me on TV or whatever. Five. This is my idea for parsing. How I'm gonna have it set up. And we're gonna put shit all around it too. Like it's gonna look dope as fuck. Let's grab the big guy here. Bam. Something like this, something like this, and so we're gonna be like fucking, fucking like testing parsing and shit like this. What the fuck? Why is it? Why is this? Thing? I'll probably have them back a little bit more. Let's put them back a little bit more. Something like this, and then let's just put the other dummies here just for fun too. You can go over here or something. Like you'll be like, put that parser right there just for fun for now. And let's place the other guy. Mm -mm. Oh shit, uh, dummy, 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 there we go. All right, now can I get out of this so I can actually like, do shit in here? F5, yeah, um, or five rather. All right, so this is the idea, dude, is like, can I get my camera to zoom out more? I feel like I can. Camera, third person, field of view, fuck yeah, right? No, I can't, that's as far as it goes. But, oh, dude, it like zoomed out more, like it fixed itself or something, nice. Um, so this is the idea, dude, is just like, Bam, 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 dude. I'm going to be here for a fucking endless amount of hours, dude. I'll get the trial dummy, though, so I'll probably be test. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to test on, like, the three million dummies, like, these little guys. I'll put them all here and shit. And, like, I'll, the, you guys can always move around. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably put, like, all the dummies, like, around in this circle or, like, in different areas up here. And then, like, let's say that she wants to, like, parse with the three million. Then she can, she has access. She can hit F5 or whatever. Fucking put it right in the middle and she can start parsing. Likewise for you, likewise for me. I'll get, so th there's this, I can get the trial dummy right now, actually. But let's, let's see, I think it's pretty fucking expensive. Let's take a look, dude. Um, I, I gotta wait till I'm out of combat, fuck. But there's, there, there's the Atronach trial dummy, but they're all, they're doing another version of the trial dummy, which I think they've released in the past, but it's coming out, but not until like September fucking 1st, bro. Um, it's like, a, it's like a different kind of monster and it looked dope as fuck. Um, so I think I'm gonna wait to get that one, honestly. Um, uh, let's look at purchase. Let's look, let's look at training dummies. So this here, amigo, fuck, six thousand crowns. That is the trial dummy right there. Um, maybe I should save my crowns for that one that's coming up. Yeah, fuck these stupid crab crates. Um, and then well, I'll get that one. It looks dope as fuck, dude. I can't wait. To, it's, oh, dude, you'll see it. It reminds me a little bit of like the uh, of uh, I don't know if you know the first boss from uh, White Gold Tower. And she kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, the boss from Spindle Clutch, but without the spider legs and, like, snake, like a snake's snake legs, if you will, kind of, sort of. So, yeah, we'll get the trial dummy when that comes out. 
uh, which is fine too because I'm not going to be doing serious parsing for another couple weeks anyway, so I can fucking wait. But yeah, dude, we're fucking. See, dude, the camera's all fucked up, dude. I'm telling you. There we go. See, it's weird. Do you notice that? Like sometimes it gets like stuck up here, but then like I can unfuck it, I guess. So do yeah, dude. This is exactly what I fucking want to do, and we'll we'll decorate out here. We're gonna put all kinds of shit out here with these training dummies, dude. Fuck yeah, bro. Let's see how long this video's been going, bro. Um, can I even tell? Yeah, I can tell down here. Oh, fuck, it's been an hour and five minutes. Holy shit. Um, all right, dude. So yeah, there it is. That's the video, and that's what I made my character look like. Now he looks like a weirdo. Uh, all right, dude. Uh, it's been a real piece. Lol.